Hey traders, up we go again. Oh, just got a little virus thing that's popped up my thing. Yes, your online thing is not complete. Oh, okay, cool. Anyway guys, big quick, quick market update. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, traders. So let's have a look at the charts right now on the S&P. I brought up f four charts here. This is what I generally look at the markets. Now, for some reasons, guys, I like to look at a blank blank I like just a black chart here and then sometimes I look at like to look at a candlestick chart as well too okay now uh, the reason why that is is that sometimes if I'm looking at a colored bar sometimes I get confused and I'm trying to read the chart you know what I mean like I'm trying to actually trying to actually read the chart itself to see what's actually going on sometimes by looking at these colored bars and it's got all trend lines and all, all that sort of stuff all over it it seems like that is actually difficult to read and so that's the reason why i will sometimes bring up say this hourly chart and i'll make it a daily chart and i'll just bring everything up the screen um and and yeah that's basically what you are uh, basically uh why it's important to keep reading the charts now i have four different time frames here and this is how i generally keep an eye on the markets myself okay so i'll have an alley chart to the left so i just like to keep an eye on the alley chart i'll have a weekly chart to the right oh so this actually should be a monthly that should be monthly so that's a monthly chart to the right and i have that there uh so i can get a good a good view of the monthly chart let me take that take everything off the screen there so good monthly chart there um i also have uh, a weekly chart to here and a daily chart to here it gives me a good view of re reading that because remember guys when I'm looking at the markets, when I'm looking at the indices, I'm trying to get a good gauge of what's actually happening in that market as well, as well too. And sometimes looking at this smaller price action, these smaller price action dips, uh, sometimes is, is, it doesn't give you a clear picture. So then, but, the, but with what I like to do is I like to actually read all four charts. Now, I'm not saying that you should do that. Okay, I'm not saying that you should start looking at all four different time frames and start the clear picture. I've been doing this for a long time and I know how to tie in all of these charts to give me a clear understanding of what is actually happening in the markets, okay? So, uh, so yeah, and as I said before, with the stochastics, you use, that in, you use that with a grain of salt, okay? You use it with a grain of salt and you use the charts for more of identification as well too. So, let's have a look at this overall, guys. Looking at the market right now and looking at the charts right now, looking at everything right now, what I'm actually seeing is I'm seeing quite significant strength coming out of the buyer's market. Quite significant strength. Now, looking on the S&P, and if I bring this up through here, bring it up through here, and I just bring this, you can see here, I'm looking on the S&P, this daily chart, you can see last time, last couple of times it's gotten up to this level, we've actually rejected there. Okay, so we actually rejected there. So we're actually getting to a close point now where we're seeing, okay, are we likely to break that level and continue up? If we do break that level, then we probably could see another 3 4% to the high side, running up to the 2000 mark. Is that possible? Yes, it is definitely possible. Okay, um, and so that's exactly what I'm seeing here. We're seeing a nice little double bottom, seeing a real good buy, bam, 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 coming out of the woodworks. Looking at that, guys, looking at that, looking at the overall markets there, we can see exactly what's happening through there. So we can see exactly that the market's really trying to break this level through here. That'll be the area that I'm keeping an eye on for and look, looking out for. Again, the stochastics, you use them with a grain of salt. You use the chart first, then the stochastics, okay? Now, I don't use the stochastics to trade anymore. I just try to, I just, it just helps me stay in tune with what the market's doing. So that's, that's, that's the S&P 500, and the same thing for the Dow Jones as well too. This is the Dow Jones, but the Dow Jones is already at its high points, and if I bring it to the exact high point, you can see that the last couple of times that the Dow Jones has got there, you actually can see that it actually rejected off there just recently as well too. So that'd be really, really interesting to see whether we can penetrate, penetrate, there's that word again, um, or, we just, or we get a significant sell-off. Um, you know, we just don't know what's gonna happen, uh, the buyers are definitely showing strength through here. They definitely are showing strength through here. But 
um, you yeah, know, it's, it's really like, you know, flip a coin right now. We're at, we're at this market. If it does start to break this level there, this level here, then we do, I do see it, then I do see a significant, like another 3, 4% run into the high side coming back up to this level through here, which wouldn't surprise me if it, do, if it does do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's the Dow Jones and it still is looking quite strong through there. We are at, we are at a significant level right now where we are right now. So I'm expecting some sort of a pullback, but as I, as I said before, guys, you just don't know, you don't know which one's going to be um, you just don't know which one. You just don't know which one is going to give you, um, you know, the side. You know what I mean? So right now we are still getting a lot of bullishes. We're at resistance right now. We break this. We're probably like to run up to the seventeen thousand level there. Looking on the Russell though, the Russell is. Um, let's have a look at this here. That's clearly there. Looking on the Russell, you can see the Russell also. Uh, if we bring that trend line up through there, that's where it really had problems last time. You can see how it's getting pretty close to that level through there. We ran up, came back down, created this low, now we run back up, and now we're creating this another low through here. So, um, yeah, again, guys, we're, we're, we're at a point right now where it's like, does this keep following through or not? So we are definitely getting a lot of significant follow through with the buyers uh, this time than last time that it's making me question whether this is a bit of a false rally before we head down or we continue up. We are getting a lot of volume in these bars as well too, so that's showing me that there's a lot of strength behind this move. Looking at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has continued to, to run up as well too, but same with the NASDAQ and same with all the other indices, we're getting very, very close to an area where it's had problems over here and over here as well too. So we're getting into an area where it's having a lot of problems. So maybe we might get another little bit more upside on the markets as, as well too. So looking at that if we do break this level then, we're, then we're, again if we do break that level then we're likely to see even on the nasdaq probably a good five or six percent rally to the high side that means everything taken off to the high side so looking at over look at looking at overall guys the weekly chart is still very very weak i still am very bearish on this overall but it doesn't mean that we're not likely to get maybe some upward movement you know what i mean long term i'm actually bearish so it doesn't mean we can't get like a little rally through here and then we get the uh, pullback as well too Makes sense. So that's what I do see, guys, on the actual charts. And just be really, really careful where, where we are right now. We're definitely getting a lot of buyers coming out of the woodworks. Bam, 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 coming out. So things are moving higher, things are moving up, and things are things are happening. So right now, we're definitely in a volatile time. And if you're using the right strategies, this volatility can be amazing. Hey, it's John Hal here, and thanks so much for watching my video. You see, I'm putting out daily videos and education on helping you learning the art of successful trading. So click on the subscribe button to keep up to date with every video I do. Also, check out my story video, $250,000 in debt, cancer, overweight, family passing away, lived on the streets, and more, and how I overcome it and, on, and now thriving through my life. This is here to motivate you, so click on that image to watch my video. And lastly, if you're struggling with your trading, then you need to see my latest webinar where I'm sharing with you an amazing strategy that allows you to generate an income without getting the direction right. So click on that image on this page to register for my next free webinar. This is John Howell here. Remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.